Hey guys, what's up? Ty Ty the Gamer Guy here. Welcome back to some more Pokemon Crystal. In the last episode, we got to Cerulean City, did some battling on the, up on the route north of it. We met Bill's grandfather, and we got to the Kanto Power Plant, to where we hear that somebody has made off with a, a major part for it, and they are apparently supposedly in Cerulean City, causing some trouble. So, let's go back there. And Leviathan's in the PC because I need to cut. And I'm still going to need, um... Gina! Yes, this is a bad time. I'm trying to catch a criminal. Go away. Okay. So Leviathan's probably going to be in the PC for a while because I still need a weed whacker or something. And let's... How about we... Go... I don't... Oh, here he is. Oops! I'm so sorry you're not hurt! Okay? I very busy. No time for talking with you. Not good for me if I'm seen by somebody. Oh no, you've seen me already. I make big mistake. Hey you, forget you ever see me, okay? You see, here, no nothing. Okay? Bye kid, nothing. Bye bye, I'll go go. Don't know where I was going with that voice, but... Let's see if we can chase him down somewhere. That is a Team Rocket member. We haven't seen one of them in quite a while in Repel War Off, even though it didn't matter. Let's head up here. Hey, buddy. Hey, kid! Me a member of Team Rocket, or me a Team Rocket member kind of guy. Come from another country. A trainer number one, me. Think I did. If I stopped the energy, be a big panic for heal people. Secret is my admission will tell me I am not. Uh, what, what am I even doing? <laughs> But if I win, you do versus me. A man be my secret. If I t this guy talked weird, I'm just gonna stop talking. Stop it. Hey kid, battle me. Begin. Uh, battle begin. He didn't say battle me. Whatever. Whatever. He talks weird. You saw it. Not gonna bother. He only has one Pokemon, and it's a Golbat. Well, let's see. And I forgot to heal my paralysis. Uh, Parafusion. Parafusion is so annoying. Come on, breakthrough, 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 breakthrough! Let the king that I named you after! Of course not. Alright, fine, let's switch to Dynamo. If you use Confuser again, I swear to god. Okay, good. And Thunder Punch. And he's dead. Aye! No, no! No, believe it, I can't! Strong very much be you. Match I am not to you. Alright. Okay, tell you mine secret, will I? Machine puss you by me. Hide it, I did in Jim Cerulean. Inside water. Put it I did. Look for it in water. Center, center of Jim at. But you forget me not. Beat, beat you for sure will Team Rocket. Come from Jodo, will they? Mine friends, yes. Will revenge, they are. You say what? Team Rocket, bye bye a go go? Broken and says you? Uh, yes, I destroyed your criminal organi in I can, uh, organization. I, I destroyed it. I shoved it up my butt. Oh no. Should I do what now? <sighs> I'm not gonna bother. He talks weird. <laughs> no idea what kind of accent I was trying to give him. But anyway, he said that he, he, he was hiding that part in the Cerulean Gym. So let's go ahead and see if we can find it. It's in the center of the water somewhere. And we can actually use Surf in here. Pretty sure using the I wait, hold on, it might be in here. He said the center. He could be in the center of the square. There it is. So how about we head back to the can to the Kanto powerhouse? Not powerhouse, the Wait. I can't talk because I suck at talking. Power plant, excuse me. Anyway, I'll see you guys back there in a minute. 
And here we are. Hey, did your errand for you, even though you didn't ask me to. And nor were you, was your assistant even specific about what I was supposed to do. Oh yeah! That's the worst missing part from my beloved generator. You found it? Wow, thanks! Here, take this TM as a reward. TM07, that's probably Zap Cannon because he just said Zap Cannon in the last episode. Yep, it's Zap Cannon. Zap Cannon is a very powerful electric type move, but it's not that accurate, and if it does hit, it will always paralyze. Electabuzz can learn that, but I'm not going to teach it to her. I might, or I might not, I don't know. Anyway, so now let's see if we can do something else at Celadon, not Celadon City, I meant Cerulean City. Alright, back in Cerulean, and after all, there is a gym here, but the gym leader, at least so far, is nowhere to be seen. Let's see if we can find them. They weren't in the gym, so maybe they're around here. And he saw us, so he ran off. Oh, why did you have to show up and bug us now? I just got here. He just... Oh, whatever. Do you know what they call people like you? Pests. You heard me right. Pest. Oh, those badges you have. Are they Johto Gym badges? If you have eight, you must be good. Okay, then. Come to Cerulean Gym. I'll be happy to take you on. I'm Misty, the gym leader in Cerulean. She just took a 180 degree really fast. She was really pissed off because we ruined her date with whatever that guy was, and then she's like, oh, you have eight gym badges? Oh, come battle me! Alright, gonna fly back to Cerulean. And here we are. And there are now actually gym leaders in here. Let's go and battle them. Don't let my elegant swimming unnerve you. And in classic Misty fashion, this is a water-type gym. I could have Dynamo do some fighting in here and just destroy everything, but I decided that, you know, since that Audrey, you know, being a Grass-type in Johto, has had a very rough time with type, you know, with type matchups against bosses, I'm gonna let her go all out, because she's finally gonna be fighting in a gym that her type is actually good against. Well, besides Erica, but most but some of her Pokemon were also uh, part poison type, so it doesn't really matter. I'm just gonna let her go all out, razor leaf everything in sight. Razor leaf. Gonna chop you up into sushi. And close to a level up. Oh, you calmly disposed of me. And a P. I'm gonna battle this guy as well. I'm gonna cut him out though. Critical hit, yeah, even though it definitely didn't matter. And one more trainer. This trainer is actually required, now at least. So I'll show it. And he only has one Pokemon. But at least this trainer has, like, has a solid Mon, rather than just two horses and then a Seizure, which is already completely destroyed without taking any damage. And can I get a critical hit? Yeah! Critical hit! Yeah! It might have mattered, honestly. I can call it. Alright, and here we have Misty. I was expecting you, you pest. You may have a lot of Johto gym badges, but you'd better not take me too lightly. My water type Pokemon are tough. Or are they tough enough to, to stand critical hit yes from Razor Leaf? And Golduck. I guess you didn't. I guess you didn't see me clearly murder that Golduck with a critical hit yes from Razor Leaf, so. Let's go ahead and do that. It would actually 
I kind of wish I had Levathian in, in my party so I could use Sunny Day to weaken her water type moves and allow Audrey to just go ham with Solar Beam. And oh god, that's gonna hurt. It's not a Psychic type, but still, that's gonna hurt. He did exactly half. Alright, Rage of Leaf. And Quagsire. <laughs> that is a water and a ground type, and thus has a times four weakness to grass. I don't even need a critical hit, yeah, but if I do get one, that would be awesome. Alright, she does have one Pokemon that I am a little bit afraid of. Yep, there it is. I'm not gonna have Audrey risk her life that for that, because that's an Ice type. She, she you know, at least took care of a good chunk of the, you know, all the gym trainers and stuff, and uh, half of her team at least, so she did a good job. I'm gonna set up Light Screen though, just in case, because, you know, she is higher leveled. And, oh, it's definitely a good thing I use Rain Dance. Not Rain Dance, uh, Light Screen. And Thunder Punch. And... Not gonna kill, of course. There he goes the Surf, how much is that gonna do? Lapras is very tanky. And, okay, not that much. And, you are dead. Critical hit, yeah, even though it didn't matter! And what's your last? A Starmie. Level 47. Starmie is very fast. And of course it has Confuse Ring. Come on. Breakthrough! Breakthrough! Yes! And... Almost. She's totally gonna heal, isn't she? Yeah. Oh, she didn't heal in the way I was thinking of, but she did heal. Oh, all lasted for one turn, okay. Alright, and rain stop and light screen wore off. <sighs> Don't do this. Just keep delaying the inevitable. You didn't even recover enough to save you from this. Apparently you did. But you definitely did heal enough for this one. And Thunder Punch. And level 44. You really are good. I'll admit that you are skilled. Here you go, it's the Cascade Badge. And we got the Cascade Badge. Are there many strong trainers in Johto? Like you, I mean? I'm going to travel one day. I can do battles on the skilled trainers. Alright. Another Kanto Gym Badge under our belt. It's still a little bit early to end things off, so I think I'm going to do one thing. And that is going to be over by where the can- where I'll- well, over to the route over here, but we're not going back to the power plant, though, and... I keep forgetting that I can just... You know, go up here, right over here, make things more convenient. Alright, and... Come down here. Whoops, onto. Onto Route 10 is the Pokemon Center. Gonna heal really quick. And in here, we have the infamous Rock Tunnel. This is why I wanted to keep Weed Whacker in the party. I'm gonna use Flash. But because it's Rock Tunnel, I'm pretty sure there's gonna be a lot of rock type trainers in here. So let's put Dorphin in the front. And the repel, cause, you know, don't want to be bombarded by a wild Pokemon. 
Definitely looks a lot different than it did in Kanto. Item. An iron that boosts defense. Let's give that to Tundra, since Tundra is going to be, you know, is the bulk of our team. Tundra? And... Are there even any trainers in here? There were in, in Kanto, but doesn't seem like there are here. We'll talk about a downgrade. But I guess it does make things a little bit easier on my part. A revive, okay. And another item. A pee pee up. Nice, could always use more of those. Anything else? Ladder. Like, are there no trainers in here? Really? Another item. TM-47. What is that? That is... Steel Wing! So yeah, we're just now getting the TM for Steel Wing. So yeah, there was absolutely no way that using Skarmory is going to fly behind me. But, even though it doesn't have wings, Dodrio can learn it. So let's go and teach it to him. And just realize that I just got rid of the Metal Co, so... Eh, whatever. So there's probably going to be another item that I will teach it. Instead, uh, don't need Fury Attack. <laughs> so Steel Wing probably won't be too helpful. It'll at least give Dojo something to do against Rock types if it ever, you know, if it ever comes a time where it needs to fight a Rock type. But then again, why would I want Dojo to fight Rock types when Super Wind is weak to them and frail at that? But oh well, as well as Ice types. But whatever. And now we are on Route Ten. And a trainer. Ha <laughs> ha! Oh, you're laughing at me because there weren't any trainers in there. And then you're the first one that I see when I cut as soon as I come out of the cave. And you only have one Pokemon, and I'm a champ. Might be uh, not tough, but uh, probably take at least one hit from a surf. All right. And doesn't go down. Vital throw. That vital throw is a decent move, I guess. But it always makes it always makes that you always go last though. Whenever you use it, critical hit. Yeah, even though it didn't matter. Hiker Jim was defeated. <laughs> Rashu. All right. And down here, we and I'm gonna battle the trainers because I feel like it. I have to say that's my loss. Okay, good. And now we have made it to Lavender Town, the town of the birthplace of all creepy pastas from Kanto, and really the whole series in general. But I think we'll that'll do it for this episode. So. I'll see you guys next time.